studies in class. Today we are in the column or our typewriting section. I remember that business study is subdivided into different sections. We have the business area, the character area, the shorthand, the economics area, then we have the typewriting section. So today we're looking at the typewriting section. It can be for manual typewriting, it can be for computer typesetting. We'll talk about paragraphing. I know that in your English class you must have learned what paragraphing is. What is paragraphing? It just implies a paragraph that holds an idea. The process of writing and your idea in a point. After you are done with an idea and you are going to another idea, you take another paragraph. And so I summed it up as a paragraph is a clear division of a piece of writing. It focuses usually on a single subject, a single subject matter, and is separated from other parts of the writing by a new line or indentation. So, Paragraphing helps you to know that you are starting an idea and once the idea you have in mind is finished, you conclude that paragraph. And when you have another idea, you're starting another paragraph to put up the idea. It makes you to write in a clear form. It makes you to write in an understandable form. It makes your reader able to understand what you are passing across. It makes your reader to understand that you have come to the end of an idea. And it is a future in English writing that is very important for every writer because it will help you to be a better writer, putting out your idea in a clear format. We have seen what paragraphing is. Now, what are the types of paragraph we have and how do we use them? We have one, indebted paragraphing. We have block paragraphing and we have hanging paragraphing. Now, indented paragraphing, let me illustrate with this. If this is a plain sheet we are typing on, indented paragraphing it. This is the margin where you are supposed to start. And so in indentation, I will start my first line of thought here. I am assuming these are words that I'm writing. These are words that I'm writing. And then your next line in your spacing will start from here. Your next line starts from here. And then the next line comes in here. Comes in here. Your next line comes from the margin. So this is indenting. You indent the first line. That's to say the first line goes in a little. Why other ideas, other paragraph come beneath it? If I am reading now and I see an indentation like this, I will know that it is a paragraph. And at the end of that idea, there's going to be a full stop at it. So this is an indented kind of paragraph. Where the first line goes in, in depth inside. That is in depth in paragraph. Now, we are going to the next one. Let's see the next type of paragraphing. We have block. Like a block sheet, everything starts at the margin. And so, whether the first line, the second line, the third line, there is no space. Everything starts in the margin. But what differentiates a paragraph from the next is the full stop that comes and the space that will happen in between the first block and the second block. There will be a line spacing. If you are using one line spacing to type, in your typewriter, there are place, there is a, uh, a tab that tells you one single line spacing, double line spacing, three line, four line, five line. So also in your computer, you go to your settings and you set your spacing to double, to single, to triple, 
depending on what you want. And so for the uh, block kind of paragraphing, this is my margin. And the block will start from here and move here. The next one starts from here, move here. The next one, same thing. The next one, same thing. The next one, same thing. Then this is the block paragraph. But in between this paragraph and the next paragraph, I am not going to have the same space. I might take two space. So here is one spacing, here is two spacing. So my next paragraph starts from here. If I am a reader and I see this two stuff, and I see two lines in between the first and the second paragraph, even if they are blocked, because there is a more larger space in between this line, so the next paragraph you have here, I will know that the first idea is over, the first paragraph is over, and the next one is a second paragraph. That is for block kind of paragraphing, where everything starts from the margin. Every idea, every word starts from the margin. There is no indentation, there is no hanging on it. This is block style of typing. Alright, this is the block type of typing. What about the third one, which is the indented uh, kind? Sorry, the other one is the hanging paragraphing. We we'll have the hanging paragraphing. What does the hanging paragraphing mean? Let's find out. Hanging paragraph. Let me let me explain with the use of an example. This is our margin. In the hanging paragraph, my first word starts from here. My first word starts from here. My second line will start from here. My third one starts from here too. This is the hanging. So if I'm typing the next paragraph, I'm still going to start from the margin. And the next one here. So if I am reading a, this hanging paragraph, I will see the first line get to the margin, but the next come below, beneath. The next will indent inside. Remember there's a difference between the indebted block and the hanging. Why the indebted? The first line of words go inside. The hanging, it is the subsequent line after the first line that goes inside and indebts inside. So we have seen the different type of paragraphing. The indebted style, the block style, and the hanging style of paragraphing. And remember that paragraphs help us to write in a clear way. If you are using a typewriter, go to your uh, uh, left-hand corner. Typewriter is not very common. And then set your margin in that area to block. If it is in the computer, it is already there. In your Microsoft Word where you want to type, go to your setting, pick your paragraphing style, you will see it's already formatted there at block, indebted, or hanging. Click on the type, the style you want to write from and start typing. So this is what we have for our class for today, paragraphing. We've seen what paragraphing is and we've seen the different types of paragraphing. So anytime you are writing, choose the style you want to write with. If it is a block, the block style, the handed style, or the indented style. Thank you for being in our business study class for today where we discuss business issues. Because in business, we do a lot of typing. In business, we do a lot of accounting. In business, we do a lot of character development. In business, we do a lot of appraisal. So please, watch our business study class. Try to implement these things you learn in your business and be a better business person. Thank you for dropping by. Subscribe if you've not subscribed. Tell us what you think. We should improve. Comment below the comment box. Ask your question. Spread the word around us. Tell the word about what we do here. Tell them we give educational stuff. Thank you for being part of our class. Thank you for being our community. Thank you, my friends, for always dropping by. Until my next time, thank you.